The GNS3 documentation provides detailed instructions on how to set up GNS3 using Packet. We're told that Packet is a bare metal cloud provider with data center locations near New York, Silicon Valley, Amsterdam, and Tokyo. Now, what's the difference between using Packet and other providers such as Amazon AWS and Google Cloud? So unlike AWS or Google Cloud, which provide only virtual machines, Packet gives you full access to a true dedicated server, which is great, but in addition, you get access to the same automation and flexibility that you would expect from a public cloud. So in other words, you can spin up the servers very quickly in a few minutes, but you have access to a physical device rather than a virtual machine. Since you have direct access to the virtualization instructions on the CPU, running GNS3 on Packet provides a better experience than trying to run GNS3 within a virtual machine. Devices such as Cisco iOS V, iOS V Layer 2, and other Cisco viral devices are virtualized using QMU. So if you try and virtualize a Cisco iOS V within QMU, running within a virtual machine, you're gonna get poorer performance than running directly on bare metal servers. As a GNS3 user, Packet are offering $25 in credit so that you can get started and learn how to use the platform. You can pay per hour for dedicated hardware or pay a discounted monthly rate. There are no long-term contracts with Packet so you can spin up these devices as you would a virtual machine in the public cloud when you need them and remove them when you no longer need them. Packet is offering a 30% discount for commitments on a Type 1 server. You can email them and mention the GNS3 discount to arrange this discount. Warning. 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 Now, it's really important to note that you are getting your own dedicated bare metal machine that's yours alone from the time that you provision the server until you actually delete the device from your account. So even if you just power it down, it's still dedicated to you, so you'll be charged for the use of that server. If you no longer need the server, delete it from your account. Don't just turn it off. Make sure that you remove the server from your account when you're not using it, otherwise you'll be charged because the server is dedicated to you as soon as you provision the server. To get started, the first thing you need to do is sign up for an account on the packet.net website. On the main page, click sign up for free, fill in your details and either use a credit card or PayPal to pay for your account. There is sometimes a manual review, which you can help avoid by using a work email address and disconnecting from any VPN during the signup process. If your account is flagged for a manual review, don't worry, the packet team will help you get it sorted out. So rather use a work email address when signing up. You will need a valid payment method, even if you have a promo code. The GNS3 website has links to documents on the Packet website, which explain options such as billing. So as an example, services are offered by the hour, which includes access to a server, access to storage, access to IP addresses, and licensed software. Please note that you will need your own Cisco iOS software and the relevant licenses for software such as Cisco iOS V Layer 2 and Cisco iOS V or other viral appliances. Once your account is activated, it's recommended that you use a two-factor authentication, but that's not required. Now in my example, I'm gonna to go to the packet.net website and click login, and I'm gonna log in with my account. So I'm gonna put in my email address, Put in my password and click login. The packet.net management portal displays. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wish you all the very best.